got the downpipe out. I had to spray some PB Blaster on there. It's been on there since forever, since 1985. And I'll be cleaning this thing, making it nice, painting it, cleaning all the rust off. So this is how we love classic cars. I'll show you another example. So going that way, right there. Look at this big guy. Damn. Thing looks amazing. <laughs> It sounds, I mean, I gotta tell you, it sounds really good when, when it's running. So how's it, what are you, what are you trying to do? Uh, are you sure, like, uh, you already tried it on or what? Yeah, it didn't make any noise, so I'm not getting a connection. Did you try to uh, see if you're getting cranking signal? So on this, yeah, I'm getting power. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, it's not cranking, so... Are you getting power to the starter when you turn the key? No. You're not? No, not anymore. I was when it died, though. So I know I did something wrong. Huh. But I think so, I, I you gotta check that, uh, right. you, you gotta check that cranking wire and make sure you're getting power when you turn the key on. So somebody has to go inside, turn the key on, and you have to see if you get power to this wire. Yeah. Turbo is ready to come out.
so the gasket for the lift pump is leaking so I'll have to uh, replace this gasket the lift pump is located right here um, they're actually three nuts that I have to remove and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try to not uh, disconnect any lines right now I'm just gonna pull it out just like that I'll try at least and then after that I'll replace this gasket clean everything so yeah at the end later on I'll be doing the diesel purge on this thing as well and replace the fuel filters this is where it's at once again and uh, there's some oil leaks right there so I have to take care of them and uh, yeah, I don't think I have to remove that uh, black uh, oil feed line to the injection pump. Um, I'll just work around it carefully. So I had to remove that oil feed line and that gave me more space to get to those uh, nuts and I'm using 10 millimeter wrench and op I'm using an open air end wrench and I'm about to take this guy out. All right guys, hopefully you somehow can see the pump. We're under the car right now and there's a rag stuffed in there. Uh, I put it there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna remove the those two other before removing those two last nuts. Uh, I just gonna I'm just gonna clean everything uh, around it and then I'll remove those nuts and uh, you know that way no dirt can get inside or anything. Okay, the pump is out. I didn't uh, I didn't have to disconnect any of the fuel lines. I just had to move it out of the way and also. Um, make sure that you put a bucket underneath or something because there's going to be a lot of oil coming out from there okay so make sure you do that mm. and then what else um yeah uh, right now i'll be cleaning everything up here and i'll be installing a brand new gasket right there and uh, putting everything back together um yeah so everything should be amazing afterwards we should not have any oil leaks as you can see i stuffed a bunch of rags in there so the oil is just dripping out onto the pan and uh, i'm gonna wait right now until the oil drains out completely uh and that way i can have a nice good uh, maintenance mating surface uh, that's clean and then i'll be able to put a gasket on and reinstall the lift pump so I'm gonna wait a little bit and then we'll continue on. I'll start cleaning everything here. Okay, so this is how it looks from the top. Um, and uh, when you put everything back, don't worry, once you start the engine, um, you know, you will get, a, the ejection pump will get, um, you know, the oil from the engine itself. Uh, so you don't really need to refill it. It's going to be really quick. As soon as you start it up, this uh, injection pump will uh, get its oil from the uh, from the engine itself. So yeah. right now I'm just going to be uh, working on this gasket. I need to replace it because it's been leaking forever. New gasket versus old. So everything got cleaned up pretty well in there. You can barely see this. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. But also cleaned the pump, the mating surface. And also keep in mind that it's a good idea to just take this uh, lift pump apart and clean it and also rebuild it. But I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm on a time limit. And this engine still has pretty low miles. So this she's gonna be all good. Um, and I just wanted to replace this gasket for right now because it's it's pretty uh, you, you know it's it's not good it's it was leaking so I want to make sure that uh, it doesn't have any leaks. Okay, there's a pump pre-installed, a new gasket, and uh, I'm gonna push this thing in and install the three lock washers and three nuts, and we'll be done. And now I just have to reinstall this oil feed line.